In the following Rasselcast Power Hour episode, we discuss multiple accusations of personal and sexual misconduct among WWE wrestlers, employees, and affiliates. Misconduct accusations that we all take very seriously. The episode is still fun, and we say many things in jest, but again, we discuss accusations, but do not claim the accusations as fact. So, have fun, and enjoy the episode. Mm-hmm. All right, that's the bell. It was that right, audible. Cool. <laughs> Whoa. To the WrestleCast Power Hour. All right. I am one-fifth of your world podcast tag team champions. I got to take my earphone off because it's make sure I'm not screaming. B hyphen, AKA awkward David Rose. So lots happen, lots going on, but first and foremost, I always have to do the thing where I pass the rock to the guy who's wearing a hat. Who's my friend. He's your friend. Maybe he's not your friend. Maybe you're on the other side of the fence. Regardless, handsome Bane. How are you tonight, sir? I'm happy to be home, man. Um, I, you know, don't wanna I don't wanna go too baby face here, you know, but uh I missed you guys and uh just taking off time to like not create and like deny myself. Um it was uh you know it was a lot of push and pull and I'm you know was able to kind of focus in on some shit. So the Aww. the stuff that's coming. Oh my god, guys. Anyway, uh now, to get you guys out of gorilla position. We'd love to see it. And at, out there back on the stage where the show's going on, I'm going to pass the rock to my buddy, Chief. the Mark Robb. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, the Mark Robb, a.k.a. Sean Matt Love, a.k.a. Gordon Darks, a.k.a. King Chitlin, a.k.a. No Cell Michelle, a.k.a. Himbo Slice, a.k.a. Big Floss Man. God damn it, Stan. We lost another victim to the Chub Rub, a.k.a. The Royal Rumbow, the, the Royal Rumbow Cheese, a.k.a. Diamond Dallas Beige, because content is forever, a.k.a. The Brownie Edge Lord, all cake, no fudge, a.k.a. Martin Luther Bling, a.k.a. Larry July. Don't check me. Check the bottom of your feet, but before I go, before I continue, I need to introduce my homegirl, my partner in rhyme, Kat Chinetti, a.k.a. Discourse Dolores, a.k.a. OMG SMD TYSM, a.k.a. Carolyn Monroe, a.k.a. BDM SM Wong, a.k.a. Kat Yastrzemski, a.k.a. Kid Fire Music, a.k.a. April O'Fields, a.k.a. Mm. Harriet the Spy, the only gumshoe with gusto and gumption, a.k.a. Chia. Sally Albright, a.k.a. Don't Fuck With Person Zero, a.k.a. Catherine the Great, a.k.a. The King of Cats, the Queen of Rabbits, a.k.a. Catherine Arnold Chinetti. What is going on, Cat? Hey! Damn. That, y'all better clip that so we can just have that ready to roll, because I did not write all those down. Uh, <laughs> Mark Rob did. <laughs> That's a Mark Rob shit there. Wow. That's that some was thought amazing. father shit there, brother. Thank Woo. you so much for having me back to represent the women's division this week. Hey, man. <laughs> you're you're one fifth. One fifth of the squad And what a fucking week it's been. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my God. I mean, like, you know, in, in inside and outside of the squared circle, guys, uh, there's a lot of shit <laughs> going on, you know? Just um, a little bit. But, I mean, you know, should... Yeah, we got some stuff to talk about for sure. Yeah. Oh, God. But, Kat, introduce, yes. introduce your partner in life. Yeah. yeah. Returning for a fourth time. And uh, he, not not including the dark matches, of course. Uh, it's always and, in the dark matches. <laughs> Uh, and here I have with me uh, my my partner in crime, my half of the I don't know what our tag team name is. We got to workshop that for next time. Uh, our holder of the intergender uh, tag team title belts. Uh, we have, of course, my love, my life, my non-alcoholic rock. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. 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 welcome well, back. Thank sir. you. Thank you very much for having me, and thank you for that introduction, Cat. I am non-alcoholic Grog, a.k.a. Grog, a.k.a. Grogzilla. Um, and I am, I, am, I am a guy who consumes a lot and has a lot of thoughts about it. Um, I am also, uh, I also 
will have with me later on one the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, who has a, <laughs> who has, a, and yes. oh no, he's yes. oh no, yes, yes, I didn't straight, even think how Dusty would feel this. Yes, he's straight, ready to haunt Cody's ass. Yes, so straight, hard. yes, straight from the afterlife. I will have him later. He has some thoughts mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. the main event of I'm that so WrestleMania. Excited. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just let me know when to bust out the Ouija board, babe. Um, oh yeah, man. oh yeah. D- D- Dusty has some shit to say. Can he be Ghost Dusty? Like. <laughs> One, one of my favorite the Instagram American accounts. Uh, you know I, what I mean? I'd like, also like to, to throw out the like additional conditional, aka, uh, yes, aka non-alcoholic grog, also aka limeade. Uh, if, if y'all want to start calling me limeade, I ain't gonna be mad. We'll work on it. <laughs> that doesn't come off easily, but we'll we'll do it non, for you, bro. Non-alcoholic grog is limeade, babes. Um, one of my favorite Instagram accounts right now is No No Context Dusty. I, I just love that account so much. <laughs> shout out, shout never, out to the there, put me on, man. That's but that's the gimmick, brother. There is no there there is no context with Dusty Rhodes, man. Absolutely not. He's that's just saying whatever he's saying. And it just sounds so good. That's why <laughs> he's the first saying. voice you hear on Hyphenation this season, man. It's, it's this year. It's just always Dusty started top of the show. Pay window. Exactly. People always asking me. Why you don't look, look it out looking all working in the gym and stuff? I like the nightlife a little more than I like gym life, baby. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> he says it's so much better than me. So, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> oh, God. Where do we begin? Do we want to get the elephant in the room? Do I mean, want this the to do? I, it was I, like, I, uh, I was, I was, I was so so not a good guy. We hate until this Vince week. Man. <laughs> Can I can I actually start with a really quick plug? Uh, do it. This this week on we should do this again sometime. I yes. had a little bit of a breakdown and uh, ran down pretty much the entire WWE men's roster and tried to figure out how many of them didn't have some sort of horrible accusation against them. Mm. I'll be mm. honest, did not go great, uh, and there were some unexpected surprises. So if you want to hear me absolutely lose my mind and go banana pancakes and realize, oh shit, uh, everybody yeah. that works for Vince McMahon is Vince McMahon in training. Mm. Uh, <laughs> listen to this week's We Should Do This Again Sometime with Pat and Mark. We also covered some movies that were good. So, you know, maybe watch those also. <laughs> Available wherever podcasted or Pat podcasted. Hey, what's up? Or Pat's got that podcast. girl here. Oh. Yeah, no, oh, catch no, Todd, no. really? <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to get a buck off this, man. Yeah, it was uh, not great. <laughs> oh, I'll sell the list. I'll, uh, I'll, the same list that Catchinetti has, I'll sell it for a couple bucks. I don't care. I'm Todd Pettengill. I'd also like to just state for the record that when when the time comes that we chat about uh, one, of, one of the initial WrestleMania matches from this <laughs> particular weekend... Well, uh, we, this is supposed to be the mania wrap of show yeah, yeah, and yeah. the we'll, season finale. We'll, so, we'll definitely by John uh, Cena bringing young children to a WWE mm, event, putting them in close proximity to Austin Theory, he put them in danger, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Well, and Vince McMahon and Triple H, by extension, enabled it. There uh, it is. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, or, yeah, yeah, we. Yeah. We look. We should always feel horribly guilty for yeah. watching WWE, even if it's WWH. But like, anyway. uh, we watch. yeah. So for those of you that don't know and 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 don't feel like googling things, um, I'll just go ahead and put on my my cub reporter tiara for a second, ladies and um, gentlemen. Kit Kat Kitteridge. Uh, I should get a little press thing for my <laughs> my tiara. Anyway, you uh. Austin Theory has uh, at least two, as far as I can tell, accusations out against him from children under the age of 15, uh, accusing him of sending inappropriate Snapchats, asking for nudes, and grooming them. Mm, So by John Cena bringing a group of uh, children, including several young girls who are in vulnerable positions based on the fact that they're a part of the Make-A-Wish program, and putting them in close physical contact with this man, he has further endangered them. 
Well, we found out last episode uh, that we recorded that uh, John Cena does not care because he supported mm-hmm. Vince McMahon and he loves Vince McMahon. So how can mm-hmm. he uh, how can I he mean, be mad at Vince when he loves Vince McMahon? People do a lot of shit that they they shouldn't do because they love people, right? Like that's like a lot of murders have happened that way, right? But OJ, I would argue, Will Smith sorry. slap. That the one thing it seems like John Cena has cared about is the kids. Mm-hmm. Other than having them himself. Yeah, and that's mm-hmm. cool. I don't want kids, but I love kids, mm-hmm. and that doesn't make me a bad person. Uh, neither okay. does it make John Cena. He's aware that he's in a position of privilege, and he tries to use it to help the next generation. Yes. Except putting them in direct contact with someone who seems to have a predilection for 13 year olds. Um, <clears throat> anyway, oh um, yeah, I'm so glad to hear this. Cause I think Austin Sherry theory is a piece of shit and I never liked his ring work. So also that like makes me feel even better. Fuck for Austin the record Fury. that there are quite a few other things that have been kind of in the ether about him that are also not good, mm-hmm. but a lot of them are not as recent. Uh, so I am only focusing mm-hmm. on things that have happened in the last year and a half. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. The statue of limitations damn, goes up to five boy. minutes yet. So we're going to throw all that shit at him. <laughs> Fuck you, Austin Theory. You're trash. Okay. Yeah. Next. And, <laughs> if, he wants, if he wants to come on and defend his dissertation, uh, I would happily, happily rip him to shreds. Mm. Yeah. And it's, it, 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 it's awfully telling us not to, not to put this person on a pedestal because the guy I'm about to mention is also garbage and should be kept far away from the wrestling business. But... We canceled Marty Skrull for a lot less than this. But of course, Marty Skrull. I think Marty Skrull does not. And he's a person that I mentioned, and we should do this again sometime this week. Getting really big on the Mexican circuit right now. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, I think it's AAA that he's wrestling for. They're right now the only, only company in the world that'll give him a chance. Well, he's presently listed on a bill for a Southern California show, so. Yeah, he seems to be. You know what to do, motherfuckers. Yeah, they're, yeah. He's slow. Just wait until we get to Joe and I am fucking serious. Yeah, yeah. Slowly creeping his way back in. Um, Yeah. Obviously, obviously he was tight with uh, the elite once upon a time, uh, and they wisely severed contact with him. Um, so let's hope that, uh, they still don't consider him a friend or if they, they do, go. that he's not they've still Eddie's watch, that they still recognize <laughs> <him> <laughs> Captain Eddie's watch, God damn it. To, to bring back. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, but of course, you know, Marty's girl was effectively, uh, booted yes. from the collective consciousness for a lot less than this rightfully so, but he also didn't work for WWE. That and he was the kicker. I was getting ready to say he doesn't mm-hmm. work for Vince. doesn't work That's for WWE not. and isn't uh, handpicked by Vince McMahon himself, which has so many layers of ick to it. Handpicked. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find any of Skrull's Instagram accounts and see which members uh, of the elite still follow him, if any. Yeah. Well, just just <laughs> now just now I made the mistake of looking. You lucky I know. You can't hear, you I'm lucky, no handsome bait. I know. You lucky you can't hear them keys clicking, boy. <laughs> yeah, side of that ass. Click, click, click. Yeah. No, yep. yeah. no, just now I made the That's mistake of like. looking at the, uh, the subreddit about Austin Theory, and I had to put my phone down. Just, mm. Mm. just specifically the allegations against him. <laughs> mm. Oh, there's also like a pretty upsetting uh, college gangbang one, too, but I don't know how much credence that has. Hey, yo. Mm. Oh! Mm. Oh, goodness. Followed by Malachi Black, Adam Cole, Matt Cardona, Cody Rhodes, Luchasaurus, Hangman Adam Page, Thunder Rosa. But Jesus Christ, get some better taste in white men. <laughs> that reminds yes, me. Of, back. That reminds back that reminds me. I still follow Killer Cross. I gotta do something about that. Cat is back. Oh no. <laughs> Tell a friend. Yes, See, I, I, don't, I don't fuck with IG. This is a rare breed of Cacinetti because I I just <laughs> I'm now reevaluating my relationship with Hangman Adam Page because guess what he follows a piece of shit. It sucks when you lose a favorite wrestler. <laughs> I'm not even sure he's gone yet, right? Because again, people do stupid shit for love. I'm I still like the movies John Cena's in. I'm not about to tell you he's a bad peacemaker just because he happens to be friends with a dick. 
It's just a question if he becomes a stepping stone for that Dick's return. And in this case, Cena has. So as far as I'm concerned, no love lost between the two of us. He can get the fuck out. If Hangman Adam Page starts going to bat, that Skrull should make a return. That's the end of our relationship as far as mm -hmm. I'm concerned. Everyone's eyebrows are just singed mm. off right now. Mm. Pretty much. I need all the flamethrower mm. sound effects, Mark Rob. I haven't even gotten warmed up yet. <clears throat> I know. I, I yeah. know. Put on to your butts. But, uh, that 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 rem but yeah, that remains to be seen. Um, yeah, mm. no, no, no shame in not wanting to unfollow a friend of yours, even if they are a piece of shit. <laughs> There's a little bit of shame in that. <laughs> There's a little I mean, bit. It's a little bit of shame if you're doing it from your public account. If you don't have a fake Instagram or whatever, where you follow your people that you don't want other people to know that you know, better. That, that makes a lot more sense to me. Mm -hmm. Because at this point, Adam Page, who's really positioned himself as a defender of the small, his public account following someone who has credible accusations against him comes across as a sign off. So people who maybe don't know better are going to assume that's a safe person. Right. Right. You know, make a, make a definitely not <laughs> hangman Adam page mm -hmm. Instagram and follow him from there. If you're that obsessed with keeping track of him. But otherwise it's just saying that you kind of co-sign whatever happened. Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it definitely, definitely is not a good look for sure. What a Garga start Gargano uh, came out okay. Mm -hmm. He likes the Power Rangers also. I mean, we are the Rassel Cast Power Rangers. So. Yeah. yeah spe speaking of Gargano, um, I, I don't see how he has any future in WWE now <laughs> <laughs> with, with Vince McMahon back. Yeah. Maybe they'll reunite him and Ch and Champa, and they'll have a decent you know tag run again. But I I don't know what you do with him. Champa's like what eight months away now. Something like that. He will probably know. just make them be like Demolition 2000 or something. Uh, you know, I'm amazed that they gave Chelsea Green as many good beats as they did since Vince hates her fucking guts. I love Chelsea Green, man. I I'm glad that she got her opportunity, and I'm I'm going to watch her crash and burn here in the next few weeks because mm -hmm. we all know it's about to happen. I mean, she broke her broke her wrist or hand or something when she's like when she came like before she got fired last time. She literally broke her hand or wrist in the match and couldn't finish for a number one contenders match. And then they released her like while she was in rehab. It was bullshit. I uh, I won't be watching what she gets up to as she oh. crashes and burns in the next few weeks. <laughs> I won't either because I've unfollowed every WWE account that I I could. Yeah. I just haven't let go of some. Oh, okay. So, I just got back on the social media. It's, so I have to do that. Yeah. Is is now a good time to talk about the skinny little mustache in the room? I mean, uh, let's go ahead. Why why not? Let let's go. Yeah, let's eat all our vegetables. Oh, the sunglasses are coming off. Damn. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I wanted to work with Neanderthals, I would have gotten a job at a zoo. <laughs> Well, everybody, Vince took over creative after Triple H started the show on on Monday night, and there was several rewrites, and you saw what happened at the end, where a tag match with Cody and surprise partner Brock Lesnar became Brock Lesnar unexpectedly and unreasonably attacking Cody Rhodes. And well, that... yeah, but I also would argue that his control of creative was pretty obvious from the entirety of Mania. At least, no. at least, at least night two. Um... Well, let's talk yeah. about that because I, 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 I didn't necessarily agree with thinking that Vince was involved. So, so what, so what was it my, that made you want to definitely say it was Vince? My argument is not necessarily in the broad strokes that mm -hmm. it was Vince. I think that he left a lot of Triple H's, I'd say, like bigger infrastructure in place. That said, I feel like every story beat I watched had little, little Vince McMahon fingerprints just left here and there in the wet paint <laughs> that unfortunately made the whole thing the same kind of formulaic we had just kind of wiggled out from under. Mm -hmm. So the fact that, not necessarily that Cody lost. Which example, I loved. I love Cody. Yeah, lost. that's fine. 
I, I am not really here to talk about, again, the big picture stuff, mm -hmm. right? But I'm here to talk about the fact that Roman Reigns won in the same way. He's won every single title defense, including exactly when people intervene and who intervenes at what time. There, nothing interesting happened there. It was so formulaic that it was practically like, as like, let me guess, Usos, awesome. I'm looking at my phone for the listeners at home. Let me guess, the uh, Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens are gonna come out and try to put a stop to it. Let me guess, it's gonna be too late. Let me guess, that guy's about to get ejected. Oh my God, amazing. Um, <laughs> So even though the win may not have been changed, the antics that led up to it felt so phoned in and not like something that I think Triple H would be proud to put as a main event. And I'm not trying to say that Trips is like the patron saint of wrestlers because I don't think he's that not. he is. He's totally no. not. No, Absolutely. he's just, he's a guy. Like he, sure, he knows the lyrics to songs from Moana and I think that's great, but like, that's really all I know about him. Uh. Well, like Triple H, first and foremost, I'd say he has far more in common with Tony Khan than he does with Vince McMahon, mostly in the sense that, like Tony Khan, he's a fan. He does what he does out of the look for the love of wrestling that he, you know, that he fell in love with as a fan. And night one, night one largely played out like it was booked by him. You know, particularly that main event with the Usos against uh, Zayn and Owens. So it played out like night one was booked by him, night two was booked by Vince. That's what at least what it looked like. Um, apart from that three-way dance with uh, McIntyre, McIntyre, Sheamus, and Gunther, which Gunther. I, I, which it seems like it, it seemed like Trips might have been in Vince's ear, where he convinced him, look, let just just let these guys go out there for 15 and 20 minutes and beat the shit out of each other. It'll be entertaining. Just let them do their thing, Even please. Even if the piece of pottery was made by Triple H, Vince rubbed his hands all over it. Oh, yeah, he has to. Right before it went in the kiln. <laughs> so it has his fingerprints baked into it. Which, at this point, to me, is not interesting. Uh, I'd That's also like to throw out for a lot of people. that the week leading up to this, uh, WWE superstars were competing on Wheel of Fortune, which I feel like that must have been Vince McMahon being like, That's the racket the young kids like, right? <laughs> They're into the, the Wheel of Fortune with Vanna and whatever. And, like, <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. Yeah. And then I was like sitting there watching it with my mom, and she was like, "Oh, who's that young man?" I'm like, "That's Austin Theory, serial rapist. You can talk about <laughs> it if you want." Uh, um, God damn it! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. It, it goes great feel... with pasta and a glass of white wine. Um, yeah, that's Austin Theory. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's basically Vince McMahon's uh, hand-picked uh, next big superstar. Well, yeah. Yeah. Old for him. Um, oh, and he's also uh, 25. Well, <laughs> a little uh, Leonardo DiCaprio situation there. So, Eric, we yep. have we have rarely heard from you tonight, big dog. What what's swirling on in that big heart and that big brain of yours, buddy? Uh that's, that's, I mean, well, great. you know, we're talking we're talking Vinnie Mac, brother, uh Walt Walt <laughs> fucking Disney over <laughs> here. Um he looks like if Disney were like uncryogenically frozen now like he's like like i think that's the gimmick he's going for i mm -hmm. feel like mm -hmm. he drew walt disney's face on his face yeah no like, <laughs> like somebody showed him what like. i think it was like, like he might have got like the ai i bet <laughs> that's what happened it's like an evil Salvador Dali. Like, oh, disney and then it did disney it <laughs> and then it, and then he was like holy shit that gpt and this holy is what came shit. out i look so good like this i look so good like this Hey, type, remember, he was types. like graying and everything before. Now, yeah. now shit's jet black. Come on, he is, he, come on, Vince. Titus, do I look on, like this? Vince. Don't I'm I look I'm gonna throw this out once, but I'm gonna throw it out now and with great aplomb. I'm pretty sure that he and David Copperfield go to the same hairstylist and same plastic surgeon because they both look the same. Uh, yeah, it's like Kim Kardashian, but for old, old white dudes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
So I guess I mean that's go fire. Off. I guess I love that for y'all. Go, <laughs> go, go off, off. Okay. Yeah, Go off, <laughs> you know. Go uh, off, King. Lucifer. King, I like that. <laughs> hey man, I told y'all we should have put this motherfucking uh, 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 rest in piss wing already. We had we have, we, we have to perish. Nope. We have well, to have Mark some rules. rules. We had no, we got him as close to death as we were going to get him, bro. He's That's, in the piss. We didn't kick Freddie into the furnace. Blood fume on the way. Yeah, we didn't like, kick Freddie into yet. the furnace, bro. I told you. Right. Well, while well, while we're while we're talking about the the rest in piss wing. <laughs> oh, no. oh wait. While we're, while we're talking about the may, may I may I may I suggest uh, someone? Did Del has, Rio finally have that car accident? I've wanted. No, I'm sorry. no oh, sad, sadly, Alberto oh, Del Rio God. is still breathing. Um, we're going to jail, y'all. <laughs> if he gets that's in a my car, name on Twitter right now. Eric's now complicit. Uh, um, but no, may, may I may I nominate may I nominate someone for the rest? I had to get my heat back, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> may, may I nominate someone as a, as a Rest in piss. Of, of uh, course uh, you may. Uh, Absolutely. Okay. Since we're right, here. So, uh he's he is a WWE Hall of Famer. Oh, that makes me more qualified. Wow, okay. He is a, he is, he is a WWE Hall of Famer. Donald Trump. He's alive. No. Five, 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 we don't have we have to have yet. standards. We have nope, to have listen, standards. It's like Ghostbusters, bro. Okay. We don't, we don't have we got the beam on him. We got the trap under him. It's not ready. It's, it's not. not really, <laughs> it's not time yet. If he wants to he dance, in the hall of shame, we dance when we get that fucker in that trap. Yes. That's, he definitely doesn't kill himself in prison. No. Maybe we can talk. He's not going no prison, man. He ain't, he ain't doing kill, no he ain't bit, too man. man, Al Capone went to prison for tax fraud. Mm -hmm. We don't know what we don't know. Mm -hmm. That's when they gave a fuck about taxes, though, man. Like, the <laughs> Elliot Ness was on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, they out here giving me thousands of dollars every year. They don't care about no taxes. Actually, do you, do you, do you have taxes? Listen, do, you do, you do you have Snooka in the rest in piss wing? Now. They don't give a shit. Jimmy Snooka is definitely in the rest in piss wing. Okay, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's, good. he's growing a tree in there, brother. Oh, okay. a piss the, tree. The oh, Snooka, shit. The Snooka piss atrium. Yeah, man. He's giving back to the earth. Don't make me spit my water girl dang he's finally giving back to the earth <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, and there it is so yeah so we we have standard if we want to have them nominated for wrestling and piss they have to be in the hall of shame uh, okay. once they perish then we will okay. magically transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Donald's right. definitely in the Hall of Fame. negativity, though, right? man. Come on, Don. Let's pick this. Uh, let's let's pick it up, me. man. Like... That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Normally, I don't burp on the mic. I was about to say, did somebody burp? What the hell? That was yeah, me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, oh, shit. I just came out, man. Timberland belch sound, too. <laughs> God damn, oh, Aaliyah, I live. God damn. I think it was over there playing Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm always over here just playing Pony. Hey, Pony, I will never turn Pony off, nigga. Oh, no, absolutely no. not. My, my nigga, father that has shit come on, I'd be like, man, it came out. Man. Everybody loves Pony, dog. He does. Come on. That nigga did it. My dad posts something on Instagram, and it'd be freaking Pony uh, music be on there. I'm like, Dad, this doesn't go with the damn picture. He just wanted to put Pony on his music, man. That's all it is. I dad, literally five. That Peter legal middle name Chinetti has never heard Pony. Oh, you got played oh by my God. God. You got to make his life better. Shot. I don't think that I need to be the person to pop wow. that cherry for him. But wow. uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wow, wow. Okay, let's go down a quick list of things. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go down a quick list of things that we that Peter Chinetti has to have heard. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. well, All right. So we said Pony. Really? By genuine. By Genuine's Pony? What like, about that's No Diggity box, by like, Blackstreet? Uh, no, you, no, you think he uh, hadn't transitioned to entirely CDs and tapes and not listening to modern radio by then? That Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, because if they Pony were playing is, it on oh, 100.7 uh, WZLX in Boston, okay. in, Peter hasn't heard it. I, no, I, no, no. I, I, I have the perfect one. I have the perfect one. Go ahead. 
This is how we do it. Yes. <laughs> Has he heard this is how we do it? Uh, yes, because it's in the Freedom Riders movie. Um, okay. The okay. Freedom, what? Freedom okay. Riders? Okay. I think, I think the, the, is that the Hillary Swank movie? Yeah. 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 Freedom yeah. Riders. Yeah. Getting my motherfuckers them journal sales, right? And they hearts out, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and then that, that one Freedom guy, star, the, the guy was nice to the Holocaust survivor, and that was cool. Uh, Hell yeah. 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 Yeah, no, uh, we had to watch that movie like three or four times for homework in my public school career. Yeah, I was one of them. Uh, one hold, of hold, them. I, got, I got another one. I got another okay, one. Okay, go ahead. In the Club by 50 Cent. I don't even know that I've heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah, you've heard that shit. We're going to give you that. You, you I mean, go, well, wait a minute, go, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go, wait. Peter. Again, it's remember. your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to understand, I stopped going to middle and high school dances because I was getting the shit bullied out of me because I listened to the same music as my 60-year-old father. Uh, also, in the in the club was like, like what, oh, oh, two, oh, three. oh, oh three. three. Was oh, three? I thought it was okay, like so when I... Was Kat, was much, Kat was way too young. So you mean when I was between five and six? Yeah, no, yep. you're not gonna, no. You anyway. still heard it by now, Kat. <laughs> no, 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 okay, I got one, I got one, I got one. Yeah. Poison. Bell Bib DeVoe. Bell Bib DeVoe. I'm gonna give that one a probably. Okay. Mm, all right, okay. All right, I'll take As it. As he heard the electric slide. Uh, he's been to a wedding, yes. I want to uh, say that, that, that's okay. kind of insulting. No, no. So that's funny because Nicole and I were having, we were like having a little debate on whether or not. Well, Peter what's Gennetti blacker? Listen to this song. No, no, no. We, we wonder. We were saying what's blacker between the Soul Train line or the Electric Slide? To like, you know, I mean, the, like, it's definitively, it's in the name Soul, Soul Train. Train. Yeah, I was gonna I know, say, I've I seen know. so many white people do the electric slide at this yeah, point. And okay, I feel like yeah. it's gotta That's be. That's probably Soul the first people. time I witnessed cultural see, appropriation. So, no white people have done the Soul Train line, though. Oh, I'm sure they have, but also I find that most white people prefer the locomotion if they're going oh for a train-based oh line. Line dance. Come on, come on. Did you know who's? You know who <laughs> likes locomotion? Specifically, Specific, specifically, <laughs> music. Everybody's Wait, whoa, doing whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, no, no. The locomotion was written by a woman, and thusly Vince McMahon cannot like it. Oh shit! Uh, okay, yeah, oh, right. Linda, Linda, turn the tape minute. over. Wait a minute. Is that a broad? Like maybe, maybe he likes other Grand Funk Railroad songs, and that's fine. But as soon as the locomotion comes on, he's like, "No, it was written by Carol King. Turn it off." Like. And that's fine. Uh, I've been working on the rail. <laughs> all the but, but listen, day. the end of the I Thomas the Tank Engine right. movie starts, and he's like, turn it off. Turn it off. Like, <laughs> Shane busted his quad. It was funny. Dog. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. Like, it's it's well, funny. It's funny because the qual the quality of the show literally collapsed after with that With Shane segment. McMahon's quad? Yeah, with, yeah. with, 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 Shane, <laughs> with Shane McMahon when he... Just fucking spilled on the so, mat. I, <laughs> I thought he blew I, out his knee, honestly. And then when that, that was my was first thought too. Like, no, it's the no family way, curse, bro. Quad, I can I can I give uh, a shout out real quick. So I live next to an amazing pizza joint that uh, all Quad that City pizzas. Folks, folks have been to. No, oh, the guy who runs the pizza joint is this I sweet, sweet, this sweet fella named Aaron, and he uh, used to live in the Orlando area, so he used to be pretty involved with the WWE Training Center. And uh, we were talking about it, and he goes, well, from what I've heard, Shane is the best of the McMahons, but it's kind of like being hit with a two-seater convertible instead of a truck. Yeah. You don't really want any of it, but you'd rather be hit with that two-seater than the truck. Yeah, you have um, a chance of, like, rolling over the hood, ending up in the passenger seat, you know, yeah, like I mean, they do in the movies. We, and, we've seen people try to sell Shane's punches. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so I, I just wanted to throw that out there. The idea of, well, at least it's only the two-seater that blew the suspension and lost control yeah. of the vehicle, oh. not the truck. Uh, uh, yeah, one, one, one good thing I'll say about that segment is Shane McMahon's worked punches looked a little less shitty. <laughs> <laughs> and they normally Shane do. McMahon's punches always remind me. I don't know if everybody's seen it. If you haven't, the clip is easy enough to find. 
uh, Martin versus yeah. the thing on uh, Chilligan's Island. There's a part where Martin, the thing, Hilarious. gets stuck up against the thing, and Martin starts throwing these cartoonish ass uh, <laughs> Popeye punches on the thing. Yeah. That's exactly what oh, Shane shit looks shoot. like to me, bro. It's fucking hilarious, and the rat was selling it. Is is now a good time to Google if he has any allegations against him? Oh, I, I don't Shane think he's Shane done McMahon. anything that's besides Shane like just McMahon. rich white man stuff. I don't think he's Martin done anything Lawrence. Really crazy. Yeah, well, we know, I, 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 you know what I mean. I, we know yeah. Marty Moore has got some stuff. Oh, out. Marty, it, Marty. It, Martin Lawrence did show so much shit. It's amazing he still has a career. It's amazing. Yeah. Well. yeah. So, so, Grog, thank you for not shouting out Snoop for his impromptu people's elbow, where he literally mm-hmm. tiptoed across the ring back and forth high oh as hell. Oh, my God. And then dropped that people's elbow. That man. Like, <laughs> that man. Uh, that's just, he's just putting stuff on his that, resume at this his, point. His, he, his he's just adding Snoop, Snoop fucking saved that segment because he saw how much it crashed and burned. I and think just, Snoop is like, the head of the Black Illuminati, but we're not, <laughs> it's, not, it's not time to have that conversation. Shane McMahon is Keep the first the person open. I've looked up connected to the WWE that does not have a controversies tab on Wikipedia. There it is. Yeah. So I would just like, man, that He's already on its rich own, and white, man. Why does he got to go get in trouble? That on its own might automatically move into the Hall of Fame. I, just, I may have, you don't have a controversies <laughs> tab? You get it in there, young man. I may have uh, went off on, uh, on rich white people who are Republican on my last episode of Hyphenation, so I'm still uh, a little salty. <laughs> hold on, so... Salty. Is Shane a Republican? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. uh, he went to the White House with Vince and all them. I mean, he's he's like the, he, he, no, he strikes me as one of those I'm a libertarian I was types. Gonna, yep. I mean, <laughs> he, you took them words right out my mouth. That, 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 might, be, <laughs> that exactly might be the case. Was he was there for like three years and he was like, fuck all this, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck all this more. He was there, yeah. he was there for the blondes and, that, and, and the coke and the good time that was to be had. That was it, man. Yeah, buddy. Sometimes all you want to be there for is blondes and the coke, man. That's why it's fucking. Oh, oh so, I, so no one feels bad that Shane and his sister Stephanie are not going to inherit this billion dollar company. No, you want to know why I don't give a fuck? <laughs> Here, let me tell you why. <laughs> because these motherfuckers have allowed their father to be a monster continuously for all these years, and they've had all these opportunities to do something about it. And they've just continued to let him become a monster. And Vince is at the worst that he's ever been. And and this is even prior to the allegations. And we're just talking about the day-to-day, the wrestling. Like, no, I don't feel bad for him. Stephanie walked away voluntarily. Shane walked away years ago voluntarily. They decided to come back and wrestle. So, no, I don't feel bad for them kids. Because, honestly, the person who's supposed to have the company, and we all know he ain't that great of a person either, who's supposed to be in tr- control, had it. And then Mr. I can't let it go until my heart literally stops came back and took it away from him again. So no, I don't feel bad for Shane and Vince or, or for Shane and Stephanie because they got plenty of money and they got plenty of other things to make money off of. So they're fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That, mm. that was, and I mean this as the highest compliment, a Cat chinetti esque mic drop. That no. was. That was, oh, no, man. They, it was good. They got money. Money they got. They, 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 got, they got money and look, uh, it would not surprise me to find out that uh, every Sunday, Stephanie and Linda go out for mimosas and talk about uh, how awful Vince is. <laughs> I want that invitation so bad. I yeah, cannot, Stephanie I... brings the girls and, you know, and Triple H goes and works out with Vince. And, and you know, it's just that's how they get their little downtime from each my, other. You know? The vision in my head is... Triple H helping Vince move a couch into his bachelor pad <laughs> because <laughs> Stephanie kept the mansion, or uh, not Ste- Linda, Linda kept the mansion. Mm-hmm. And I'm in my mind's eye, I'm just imagining Stephanie and Linda like having mimosas and it cutting back and forth like a like a sitcom type situation. I'm in my midlife crisis. <laughs> I'm oh. gonna live. You mean your uh, dead life crisis? Oh, you know, did you you're you're, you're, you're oh, gonna no. live to be a hundred and fifty-four years <laughs> old. <laughs> At the very least. I know you like a vampire, but it's so not true. Evil. The, just the pure evil coursing through my veins keeping me. Wait a minute. Why did CJ just sleep. text me there was a Brock versus Vince match? Did something just happen tonight, or is he talking about something old? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Well, uh, um, no, no, you do no, realize Brock, this is how I want to die. He has to be talking about something old. We can, we can forget no. about it. No, the, no, I think, yeah, he's talking about old stuff. I'm sorry. My bad. He's talking about stuff he's watching on the network. 
Whoops, oh, my okay. bad. Okay. I was about to say. I thought we went. I thought we went full. I thought uh, Vince. I, yeah. Full stir. Vince is like, I'm wrestling tonight. Yeah. Just rock out here. I'm a. Sh- I'm going to show <laughs> Cody how you wrestle. With me. I, I gotta show all the the ladies that I'm still sprightly Vince and so young. High off cocaine right now. That he really thinks that he can beat Brock Lesnar in a fist fight, and he's gonna put it all on TV right now. You know what? Um, so I bet Pet and Gill would sell a cover of um. I think I could beat Mike Tyson, except by Vince McMahon called. I think I can beat Brock Lesnar. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do. We'll we'll get it. On the, yeah, hell yeah. Get yeah. it. Get it now. We'll, we'll get it done. I'll do it right now. I'll pretend to be Vince McMahon. I'll do it. Here's my Vince impression. <clears throat> I think I can beat Mike Tyson. There. See. Oh. oh man. <laughs> see. Todd, you're so talented. It's right there. Why don't they call you ta- talented Todd Pattengill? Yeah, uh, some people do. Who? Anyway, your mother. Right. <laughs> I got money to get. I gotta get out of these streets. I'm Charlie okay. Hustle. I, out of these I, streets. I, I also, Hang on, I, I got E40 is... on the phone. We're gonna talk about getting these marbles. Hey. <laughs> I don't know if this is happening for anyone else, but on our screen, Kellen is just fully frozen. He's so frozen hearing all shit. of this, oh, yeah. like, no like, movement is very funny. I feel like he's in jail. <laughs> 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 I can see him clearly. He's good. Right, he's I'm bopping. Here. I'm bopping. I'm weaving. Uh, not on my screen. No, uh, I don't know. Either. My record is good. It's, guys. It. it's all good. It's all good. As long as y'all are on my screen. computer got problems, so. Nah, nah, we good. Uh, he's coming in clear as hell on mine. I did just screenshot in jail Kellen, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love coming that for me. soon to own on DVD and video. Ooh. All right. Um. I do. I do want to uh, show a little respect to the best match on the card. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. At least uh, for what for for my money. I was gonna say let's uh, talk about mm-hmm. some good stuff. We'll yeah, man. Uh, Charlotte versus uh, Rhea Ripley. Oh. I will be the first to say I, 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 I didn't give. I don't give a shit about Charlotte, bro. Like and sometimes you know that she, she, I do because she this irritates fact, the piss she out of me because like her ass off. It, that's the that's the problem, dog, and that's what I'm saying. That's the problem is that she can do, and she's excited. she's such a jerk in the sense that like she doesn't like to like she doesn't suffer people who aren't on her level. But it's like you're a wrestler, and part mm-hmm. of your job is to get people who aren't on your level up on your level. Yes, and to accentuate the things that they can do, uh, and make that coincide with the shit you can do. That's mm-hmm. I, I've never done it, but I think that's the shit. You that's know? the I gist. Think that's, I think mm-hmm. that's the gist. I think that's a formula that will work. Absolutely. Um, but so much, so often you see her like being counter whatever somebody else is trying to do. You see her working way too stiff with people who don't, who aren't there. This was like, I think this was like finally the match that she was looking for because she gets stiff with people mm-hmm. expecting you to get stiff back, but also like remain professional i think like that's her expectation that's what she um considers her level and so for like ria to rise to that level the way mm. she did mm. like because it was it's a couple of hard shots in there and it's yeah. just like it's her letting her know like nah bitch you know what i mean like right but then also you know it's charlotte's just like nah bitch you're not gonna take my spot i'm not gonna give you my spot i mean right you're gonna work for this just, she came out there, you know, like we were expecting her to like come off the helicopter again or some shit or come down on a limo, some some rich, extravagant flare shit. Right. She came down, you know, she had the little she had the 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 the, the bubble goose dress, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Came out there, you know, still queen shit. She looked a little um she looked a little leaner than normal. So um, you know, just like that shit tells a story when like the shape that some wrestlers are getting in. Uh, tells a story like uh, a la the rock versus brock SummerSlam, Mm -hmm. Uh, and just like her face her face i thought something was wrong in the sense like a botched surgery bro but it was Mm -hmm. it was just like she looked completely different because she was making a face right and um and then Rhea came out there and all her splendor just like all the shit that we come to love of Rhea Ripley, like the, even in the look, it was like she took that shit to the next level and looked like a star. And it was just like, OK, hold on, you know, and and then when Charlotte gets off that first stiff one and then Rhea like sends that shit right back, it's like, oh, a fellow chucker, eh? <laughs> it's like, you know what I'm saying? She's like, yeah, yeah OK, bitch. And yeah. <laughs> you can still see Charlotte like trying to work herself into it. 
uh, and then when she hits the um, when she hits the moonsault off the top rope to the outside of the ring, nails it, flips over, lands on her knees, and starts to let screams yes. like that guttural fucking roar she lets yes. out, and got in there and like commenced to ass whooping somewhere. It was like okay, and then just like the drama, the the end of the match where she you know she puts up her dukes like you know it's just like right. it was like oh shit this is this is devolved now this is like savagery now like right. this is she no got longer out. about a wrestling match this and is it was about... within the confines of the rules we didn't need no fire we didn't need no, no thumbtacks we didn't need none of that nope. it was just the story no and dominic they, they with some shenanigans with each other mm -hmm. and you know what i'm saying we got the result i to that point where i was just like hey man i might want charlotte to win this shit bro like no, I, we, we never saying that. It, but that's what I'm saying. It was just like it, the, that's what I'm saying from moment to moment. Like that moment was so huge that I was like, I might not be mad if that happens. But you know, at the right. same time, of course, no, Rhea's is, Rhea is the best thing. Mm -hmm. I I think that that Charlotte yeah. was just trying to do them a solid anyway, taking that shit off of Rousey because. Ugh. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, <laughs> like, Wolf City. Well, but, yeah, like I thought that was I really thought that was like the perfect match. Like I wouldn't even show that to somebody, um, you know, like if somebody was like studying to be a wrestler, I wouldn't show them that yet because that's too perfect. They got to see like people making the steps mm -hmm. first up to mm -hmm. that. That would be like final exam type shit. That was amazing. So uh, my favorite thing is not necessarily my favorite thing because it was a good thing. But it's my favorite thing because it sure was thinging. Okay. Uh, and that was uh, the Luchador Cinnamon Toast Crunch character uh, <laughs> trying to exist <laughs> while they were trying to tell a really serious story between mm -hmm. Dom and Rey Mysterio. Yeah. <laughs> Who probably so had the third just, best match of the night. Possibly. They just kept cutting back to to like Ray reacting to things and the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Luchador doing crowd work and you behind know, him. There it is. Yeah. And, but Cinnamon uh, Toast Crunch also has Cinnamon chur Toast Churros. Yeah. What a missed opportunity. Sure do. Yeah. And and yeah. But and I just love like uh, you know, basically Ray being like, I hate my dad. I resent everything I've been forced to become. And like in the background, the cinnamon toast crunch guy's like, Yay! <laughs> like, I love it. No, just, perfect, no notes. And just, no just, notes. just to, just to, to bring up just a complete bizarre combinations of combination of things that somehow exist in the same segment. Uh, we have cinnamon toast crunch and stock footage of Auschwitz, as there was in that video package for the Ray and Dominic match. Can y'all stop fucking up, bro? Like I live, dog. Yeah, I put it, together uh, shit all the yeah, time. Yeah. A, I a massive, yeah, just a massive fuck up on WWE's <laughs> part that they just today apologized for, and they have really pissed off their German market now because of that. I, I'd also like to state for the record that I feel like they're skating dangerously close to the line, as is with Gunther. Yeah, like they already, um, yeah, they should be pissed anyway. A like thing that. that I notice about Gunther is that they don't really put him in black very often. They usually mm. put him in Confederate gray. <laughs> Switch it up, little curveball. Well, <laughs> I, think, I think it's so they don't lose German market share because they literally repeatedly put him in Nazi uniforms with everything but the armband, which would get him kicked off of German television. So it's like how, you know, like, Disney cuts scenes that they think won't do well in China. Mm -hmm. Similar energy. Yeah, and I, I would imagine he figured that, like, some of that out well before he even got there. Like, when he was in Europe, probably, like, mm -hmm. understanding that, yeah, this would keep me off German television if I did X, Y, Z. But, you know, whether or not he's looking at the numbers, they were definitely looking at those numbers. And now Vince is running things, so they're probably going to lean even harder into the Nazi stuff with Gunther. Nazi, just, man. Just, just Nazi, and Nazi adjacent stuff. <laughs> without without just coming right out and saying, you know. I mean, why why not just come out and say it? They already played the Auschwitz card. Yeah. <laughs> Nazi von Wunderkind. Like, damn, but, dog. Yeah, it's a... Shut up. Shut up. That's not very American dream of you. Um, Did somebody say the American dream? Oh, Did somebody drop the name of the American dream now, Daddy? 
Is this Dusty Rhodes? Is this the Ghost It is Dusty Rhodes. It is the American Dream. He has arrived on the WrestleCast Power Hour, Daddy. <laughs> Dusty, I, I, I'm always glad to hear you, man. So it's good to hear your voice. You're, you're speaking through the ether to us right now, Dusty. I have a few questions. Did you happen to catch WrestleMania this weekend? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I, I always enjoy a good WrestleMania. I always enjoy, you know, when I can, you know, taking in the, the showcase of the immortals and everybody, all the all the matches, all the, all the spectacle. I was just having such a great time. Sami Zayn versus the Usos was such a killer match, Daddy. Uh, I also would like to state one of the Usos has six DUIs. Yeah. <laughs> He's banned oh. from Canada. Yeah. Oh. For being a convicted felon. <laughs> If you li- li- listen, 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 okay. He, got, you, he was allowed in Canada the last time, wasn't he? No, li- that was Montreal. Wrong li- time. Li- <laughs> listen, you, you, you mentioned six DUIs. Uh, did I mention that I worked with Ric Flair? Uh, <laughs> oh, my. Mm. We were just talking about Ashley Flair a little bit ago, Dusty. So you already talked about the Usos. What what other match did you really like this weekend before we talk about uh, Cody and Roman? Well, you, well, you, well, you, well, you see, I did enjoy the match where those three European fellas just beat the bejesus out of each other. Oh, did it. Sheamus and, and Guther and Drew McIntyre. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 Scot, the Scottish man, the Irish man. You like man big, and... big sweaty men slapping meat then? Yeah, big big sweaty men slapping meat, you know. Like I say, you know, the, you can always tell everything you need to know about a man by his meat, and you can't beat that meat, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dusty. Oh, my word. Yeah, but I did enjoy the Irish man, the Scottish man, and the man who looks a bit too much like a mu- Nazi for my taste, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I love that. Yeah. I love that. So, so Dusty. Let's let's go ahead and talk about it, man. So so your son Cody Rhodes didn't do it, man. He didn't take the boat off oh, Roman. So how are you feeling? That's how are you all feeling? They can talk about how are you feeling that the tribal chief is still the tribal chief where he rightfully belongs? How you feel? Tribal chief. How you feel? Queen. Tribal chief. Yeah. Uh, you, you're gonna need to give me a minute because <laughs> du- Dustin's got to go to his dock place for a second. Uh. <laughs> oh shit! Like he's gonna join the NWO, brother? <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh no! Shit. Yeah don't, yeah, don't forget, D- Dusty Rhodes was a member of the New World Order. Hmm. A lot of people don't like to talk about it, but Dusty Rhodes was hmm. NWO for life. Oh, no. <laughs> sure but were. Dusty Rhodes ain't alive anymore, so I ain't NWO no more. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is the only way out of that contract. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Oh. Wow, hey. we saw that shit. Yeah just, wow. yeah, just, yeah, just ask my friend Scott Hall. Hey, Scott, how you oh, all? No. Oh, no. Oh, oh was Scott Hall there, too? Hey yo, um, I'm good. <laughs> okay, Scott's gotta go now. Bye, Scott, Scott Hall. Scott. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Scott Hall, for your guest appearance. Yo. So, so, Dusty, like, have you went to the dark place to talk about that match now? Uh, let me let me let me let me just uh, be pre- preface this by saying one thing. Uh, this whole bloodline storyline. How long has it been going on? Something like three fucking years or something. Two and a half years. Two and a half. Two and a half years. That is I've a never, long time for storyline. That is a that is a that is a long ass time. I mean, you mentioned the NWO. When the NWO went for that long, everyone was like, "That's too goddamn long. Ratings are gonna go down." And that's what exactly what happened, Daddy. And now you got this other big, massive, ultra heel faction that is running the show. And 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 you get to a point where you have this show where you can start to. Begin to tell the story of the downfall of the ultimate demise of the bloodline. That process that could have begun at WrestleMania with my son, the American Dream, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, you're the de- American Dream. Dethroning the tribal chief and becoming the WWE Universal Champion. And you don't do it. And it was yeah. amazing they did I was pulling for it too, so man. My question I is, wasn't. Wait, wait, so my question is, what, what is the end game here? Jey the- Uso beats Roman for the belt. That's, uh, that's I'm team. sorry, guys, man. I don't know. Uh, with with respect, who the fuck wants to see that? <laughs> oh, shit. I, I I do, I do. Jay- but I, that's if I cared about the product anymore. So who fucking cares? Yeah, what I'm actually cares? done watching. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I would rather I, I would rather it be Jey Uso and not the one with all the DUIs getting it because he he doesn't he should not he should not be working in the ring. He should be picking up garbage on the side of the highway. <laughs> there it is. There we go. You hear that, uh, fucking uh, Jimmy Uso? Jimmy, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Uso, Jimmy yeah. D U I Uso, D U Uso. Jimmy Uso, you should be cleaning Mr. up trash. Mr. Uh, Trinity. 
Thanks, Mr. Naomi. So. <laughs> mm. so yes, I am I am I am very much unhappy that they did not pull the trigger, give my son the Ubu championship. Ooh. And, yeah. Universal <laughs> W Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Uwu Champion Tip. Why does everyone laugh when I say that? Why does everyone laugh when I say Uwu? What the <laughs> fuck is this shit? <laughs> Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> Has I think you've been here too long, That's sir. Good. Spry. Mark what Rob. the fuck is this well, shit doing with my, You know what to do. Yeah, d- Dusty, you have a better demeanor. So you, until you get right, you got to go, Dusty. You got to go. Yeah, all right. Wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go, but I, I le- I'm going to leave you with one question. What the fuck is this shit they're doing with Coda and Brock Lesnar? Okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's just normal Vince stuff. Brock shows up I, and crushes everybody's spleen, and that's how it well, goes. I, mean, you know, I would just like to shout out AEW this week for mentioning Cody by name like six times. <clears throat> Clearly, just being like, "We're here if you need us, bro." Like, yeah, yeah. When uh, when when Tony Khan, you know, he specifically mentioned Cody being one of the founding fathers of the company when he announced uh, that big ass. All in show they're doing at Wembley Stadium, which right after it was announced, this one messaged me asking if we want to make a trip out of it to London. <laughs> if we could, if we maybe want to swing that. <laughs> if anyone has a wearable love mic, let me know because I'll podcast live on the ground if we mm-hmm. pull it off. Yeah, but yeah, but like when he made that announcement, he of course mentioned Cody Rhodes by name, which I interpreted as Tony Khan's way of saying, "Hey, we still love you, bro." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, guys are still friends. Like, yeah. he probably, after a lot of soul searching, made that decision to come back over to the E. And for whatever reason, mm-hmm. I'm sure he had those reasons. And I don't know, people have been down on him. And, like, uh, I've heard, you know, a couple of people laughed at him about, you know, starting his own company, leaving that company, coming back to the old, you know, to the scene of the crime. You know, mm-hmm. yep. <laughs> essentially, literally, I, I call it I, like I called him Codicius Rhodes because like, you know, like we've nice. we've been doing the Odyssey. Thank you. Uh, we've been doing the Odyssey um, with some of my high schoolers, actually, like literally just had they're writing an argumentative paper on it right now. But um, it was talking about um, Odysseus and I'm like, yo, he's literally like experienced the Odyssey. Like he's gone all over the, you know, all over the world and been blown around and Every figured time. out everything, all this shit. And it's like, oh damn, he's Codicius. And there you go, you know, and uh, at the end he uh, doesn't quite, well, I mean, you know, eventually he'll get, the, I, I, eventually he'll get the time. I, 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 right? Like, or, or he'll right? go back home, a changed and humbled mm-hmm. man. Yeah. The question is just where is home? Exactly. Mm. Yeah, because you know, frankly, you 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 of course exchanged words with Dusty earlier, but you know, frankly, uh, it seems like his career has been yeah, an you odyssey. Him, man, he was really great. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, he was, he was wilding yeah. after a while. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Dusty, so, you got a brother. He was so loud that my rabbit started thumping, and I had to go handle it so she wouldn't yeah. interrupt the the podcast. Oh, yeah, I think he got <laughs> yeah. Got, got the rabbit all excited, Dusty. Man, you, you get all of them going, don't you? Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. but yeah, but I think that Cody's entire career since his father passed away has seemed like an odyssey. Mm-hmm. He, he's just he's just I mean, kind of been lost from one way or another. Isn't trying to live up to your father's shadow the real odyssey? Isn't that all what we're uh, all, mm. I mean, not all of us, but like a lot of us trying to do? No. <laughs> Damn cat. Oh, I said, oh no 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 no. That, I said that, some. Yeah, you go. But, but yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, Shut up, a, Eric. A, a, <laughs> no, no. All yeah. right. Allow allow me to refine. In polite white society, isn't that all yeah. what we're trying to do? All right. Well, uh, yeah. well, Cody Rhodes lost, which means that racism has been unsolved. Mm-hmm. So. Well, See, let's that get is, to the real it's heart of it. It's because let's they the used the, the, the Auschwitz footage. <laughs> See? Yeah. It's fucking wild. Man. Vince, Vince make McMahon the man came lose back and the, the racism baby. was unsolved. Um, I go, make the man I'm glad lose he lost in front, in front of, of his kid. He should have brought his kid for inside. He knew what was going to happen stepping in the ring with the Randy in there looking I'm, I'm just going to give, I don't know whose decision it was, but uh, the kid did have proper ear protection. Um, he did. Very, very, very parenty. 
Yep. Specifically, uh, ear protection that had little bedazzled pieces that matched her little jumper. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I'm that, pretty that's sure Brandy that, all day. Well, yeah, the I think her name is Sharon. It's S J O or S G O Vintage on Instagram. Does a lot of the Rhodes's wear. Oh, uh, so man. I just want to give her a shout out because she has done a lot of uh, Brandy's ringside stuff and Libby's ringside stuff. Oh. So and she's it's, very good. It's, and speaking of gear, this is how I knew Cody Rose was going to lose when he came out with them fucking wings looking like oh God. some, I was like, all right, dog, this nigga gear too sweet. He like doing, it's doing way too much. They like trying to put it like, you know, this is, this is, this is my night. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's like he's looking into the crowd and saying, this is WrestleMania. I'm like, ah, oh, he's about to lose, bro. I can tell. And I to the point where I turned off the television and went to bed because I had shit to do the next day, but I knew he was going to lose. I was eating uh, sheets, hot dogs, enjoying every minute of that match. It was amazing. For, I'll check it out for, eventually. For I guess. me, as oh. soon as I was like, wait, that's, that's Brody's son. Yeah. Shit, he's going to lose. Like, lose it, friend. Was... Lose it. You're going to lose in front of negative I was one. just waiting do for it? one of the... And, and to to their credit, I do appreciate that they, they were like, oh, that's like Brody Lee's son. Like, mm. that's how they referred to him and whatever. Yeah. Um, mm. They didn't call him negative one, but they did everything but. Mm. Um, but I was... Just, they they didn't call him Luke Harper for like the first time ever, I feel like. Right. No, they actually... Fast. Yeah, they actually called him by his real name. <laughs> Which, it wouldn't surprise me if that was something Cody was insistent upon. Can I just say real quick? Big E would have slapped the shit out of him. <laughs> that, was his, that, was his man's. that was his man. That was his man's. Michael Cole did work this weekend, mm. and I was incredibly happy with every call he made all weekend. And was, I tweeted about it. It was probably the best calls of Michael Cole's Everybody entire. Everybody sounded like they had such a good time. Yes. Everybody was having a ball it other felt. than other than Corey when um when mcafee showed up <laughs> yeah yeah but even oh, then like he was just yeah. selling it brother everybody was having a blast yeah. um even to the point uh in in what i considered like the not goodest match on the card the uh four-way tag with uh uh women's i'm sorry mm-hmm. but it, it wasn't it the wasn't wrestlemania so showcase yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It was, it, I mean, it, it started out really wonky. It was, it, you know, it was all right. But um, it wasn't, it wasn't, in comparison to everything else, it was bad. But there's a part in the match that I really enjoy where uh, everybody's on the outside. Uh, it's the part where Liv Morgan uh, gets thrown out by um, uh, uh, the, the Sandra Rodriguez. Who, the big... Or- Raquel Raquel Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to care. She's MAGA. Anyway, um, we don't have to like her. She's down for Kyle, so yes, I agree. Yeah, so she gets, yeah, anyway, she um, she throws Liv out, um, you know, their partner. She throws her out of the ring, and Liv lands on everybody, everybody, wipes everybody out. She giggles. Like, she's on the ground giggling. And I'm just like, man, this match was trash, but... I love that you got to have that moment. Like, <laughs> I saw that for like it's just I don't know. I just everybody like, kind of got their got their shit off. Everybody got their yeah. shit off. Eventually, uh, even the uh, even even Natalia, she uh, did a double sharpshooter. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was cool. That was pretty cool. Always, I always like. Uh, I would have done it better, cool. but uh, it's of course, it's fine. Brett, of course, it's fine. Uh, you know who didn't get her shit off? Who's never gotten her shit off in WWE? Ronda Rousey. So that Ronda was Rousey. cool too. Yeah. Jeez, Louise, man. The, yeah. Uh, just R- just R- just 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 watching paint dry. Just mm-hmm. I. You, oh, watching my. paint dry standing next to me is more exciting than oh, watching the rosy. No, it's not. Oh my! I'm telling you. Oh yes, it is. You, I wish right, Ronda Rousey would just, just go off her with her microphone. horrible husband and have babies and fuck off. Oh god! Oh shit! I hope. Anyway, let me get out of. Hey, Eric's got yeah. some killer weed. I'm gonna go over here and handle that. <laughs> go get yeah. that, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, shout out, shout out to my Charles Screwdriver. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I hate dog. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I don't know, but it was still uh, what was it, was the beef slapper? We 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 talked. Hey, about. hey, hey, yeah, no, big big meaty men slapping meat. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Them 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 guys. That was uh, it was like the closest I've seen people being like, 
this is going to be fucked up, but it's everybody's going to like it, right? Yeah. And everybody just had that agreement, them included. Like, it was like full. I feel like they fully were like, nah, this is what we want to do. And we want to do it in front of y'all. And everybody's mm-hmm. going to be okay. We just want to get bruised up a little bit for y'all because we just want that contact. You know what I'm saying? It was just like the closest to like. Want that action. Yeah. And, it, and um, you know, it was like sickening. But like we were all like laughing as yes. we were like, oh, gross. Like, you know, that shit. It was um, really, yeah, just that 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 dream match of uh, uh, that Big E talks about, you know. Yep. Minus the Goldberg. Um, were you angry at McIntyre having his sword still? Yes. <laughs> Get that fucking sword out of here, dog. Why? Y'all keep forcing this nigga to be Scottish He-Man. If nobody cares. The sword is crooked, dog. It's fucking bent. Oh, and it's shit. like, yeah, dog. It's like, put, just stop making this nigga carry the sword, bro. Like, <laughs> the nigga music, was, his music is still kind of sweet, but like, it, it ain't, it ain't broken dreams. So, no, like, get out of here, broken dreams back. Sweet. Broken dreams was cold. Yeah, and so then, some uh, somebody, whether it's get that fucking sword out of here, dog. Like, some whether it's Vince or Triple H, I guess. One of them really, I guess one of them watched Highlander once and then really yeah. liked it. It was, and was like, that's I was like, that shit. Vince, what that's like Drew, that Drew, sword still? Drew, I just watched Highlander and I bought you a sword. Come to TV tomorrow. Right, he, <laughs> Drew, uh, I gotta, uh, how do you use Amazon? I got to order a sword. <laughs> use this Man. sword, it'll get you over. Uh, uh, Princes of the universe walk in music when? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Speaking of pieces of shit, um, how did everybody yeah. feel about Logan Paul's match? Oh, um, I like mm. I I'm always squeamish when that motherfucker comes out there, and it's just like the yeah the the annoying I'm I'm better than you like that shit. It's, it's it'd be different. If, I don't I know. I I what? guess that's just him living the gimmick. I hope that's just no, him. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. No. Sorry, I'm, that's him. Actually, I'm... I don't give a shit. I just like don't want to put eyes on him. Mm-hmm. And um, Same. it was like, but then he's an impressive athlete, and that sucks because then you gotta like, you're like I guess. But like, this was the first I, time I ever saw WWE use a suspension rig and thought, "Oh, good, maybe there will be an accident." Oh, um, woo, yeah, yeah. I love like it. I ne- like and everybody so, dies. And love so it. I, I too, I too played out that scenario, and I was hope <laughs> I was hopeful that they would wait until it cleared the crowd, and so that no one else yeah. had to no, deal with no bullshit. Other or if it was like high enough to where people could get out of the way in time. I'm just, you know, concerned about other people. No, I mean, I don't, I don't want, I do not wish death upon anybody. You can be hurt. I perhaps wish I want Vince a... McMahon to die. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> well, there ain't no fucking pause. Die, Vince. <laughs> yeah. I, so say you know, we all. I, 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 I do not wish death on anybody because that's how you get death wish back upon yourself. Mm-hmm. But Vince wouldn't uh, give a yeah. shit about black people. All I Come on, man, Johnson. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, Farouk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. Return to the nation of domination. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, look. He pretty much pushed Kofi Kingston under protest. Oh, man. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> I'll give a baby their chocolate milk. Oh, shit. Fine. I'll give Kofi the title, but he's going to lose it in embarrassing fashion. We're going to lose him. He's going to lose in a GIF. It'll be so short, it'll be over in a GIF. You don't even have to watch the video. Just watch him, the bell ring and then Brock kill him. God, I love you, Brock. You're you such a Brock good wrestler. Killing? Almost. I uh, uh, got uh, fucking, you know, got a lot to, uh, a little bit to domination in there on Brock before. Um, LOL, before, Brock wins. Before, you're, yep. Beep, boom. You know, so that was, that was fun. You know, yeah. you got to see Brock Lesnar bury a giant black man. You know, so it's so next ten year, and zero against black. Smallest next year, you're take on Ricochet at WrestleMania. Uh no, no, I need that. We already know. we don't. We, but actually, so so he, here's the thing: Brock Lesnar's Reiatsu is so strong that if he were to walk into a room with uh, this is storyline wise anyway, if he were to walk into a room 
uh, with Ricochet. Ricochet would essentially just crumble, or he would just like fall on his back and just be pinned. It would be automatic. So, you, have you ever seen uh, the seminal classic Disney film Sky High? He'd be like the kid that melts into a puddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be over in a flash. Like it, it wouldn't even be worth it. He he would just hit Ricochet and he'd explode for real. Yeah. I think I think they had a match in Saudi Arabia, so of course I didn't watch it. Yeah, for, I couldn't tell you, bro. Good for you. I'd I'd like to state for the record that I think the reason that uh, WWE and Logan Paul get along so well is they both like scamming children. Mm. So yeah. talk to them. No, yeah, motherfucker. No, you no, you. I don't. I don't wish injury on anyone. But Logan Paul, I do. I don't care. Like, <laughs> like, I do have I to just, say. I it's like. I do have to say that seeing Becky be jealous of Seth's gear before he went out was was that was awesome. cute. That yeah, was cute. That was, like, I'm so fucking jealous. <laughs> yeah, I like I like that he rolled up in uh, fetish gear I own. <laughs> there it is. Big big fan of that. Um, so of course you're going to let you know where was the you know who borrow it for a Halloween? Yeah, Brock. I mean it's gonna be purple, <laughs> but whatever. Um, no, I mean, so, but like, who was that? The red number reminiscent of, like the the actual rap. I think I that mean, y- you would know. Gaga has worn something similar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gaga. I tweeted there, at Gaga today. She didn't answer. Uh, <laughs> she didn't answer yet. Um, no. She definitely read it. <laughs> it. She's taking time to compose a perfect reply. Kellen, calm down. <laughs> um, let her do a Garth Brooks cover, damn. <laughs> or maybe she hasn't responded because she's recording it as we speak. She maybe. was so struck by your inspiration that she threw her Drop phone. Drop it on her and... SoundCloud tomorrow. <laughs> SoundCloud.com yeah. slash Lady Gaga. So, personally, that reminded me of some of the, like, I would say bad romance, like, very McQueen era Gaga. She wore something very similar in silver. I think it was in the Bad Romance video, but I'm not 100%. I'll I'll do some sourcing and get back to you. Bram Stoker's Dracula didn't have some shit like that? I mean, I'm sure he probably did. Uh, <laughs> like, there... I mean, the, the thing is, like, big coats like that have a precedent repeatedly throughout history because it's the idea of not just security but extravagance, right? Mm-hmm. If you live in a cold environment, which... Makes it even weirder to put in L.A., but that's like a side point. If we're looking at it's this meta flex, actually, to me. Well, I'll, I'm going to yes and your statement. Um, so I think that the idea of having it in L.A. and the idea that underneath it, he is wearing uh, PVC trousers, it appears. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> that out- <laughs> he's so wild. And, and the outline of a shirt um, is clever. That's a, a nice subversion of like the uh, the extravagance of the coat. The idea that not only can I afford a nice coat, but look at all the nice coat I can afford. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, "Freaking Rollins, baby." That. Yeah, that was crazy. I I also think Elton John had a similar look at one point, um, at least in specifically like color palette and general shape. Um, mm-hmm. But I can do a little more research and see if mm-hmm. I can find that for you. I could, I could um, see that too. But also, I, I did a lot of reading about Seth Rollins, and I actually watched quite a lot of his stuff. Uh, besides Seth frickin' Rollins, whatever that is, what is his angle? Is his angle just, I'm myself? N- I think now. I yes. Think now. <laughs> I think he's kind of found that. Because that's what a lot of people say. Like They find the, the character that's most like them because they're... It's like Stone Cold was like, I am not the ringmaster. I am Stone Cold Steve Austin. I drink beer and and swear and then swing punches. Like, that's and what I do. my wife. And that too. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kisses is sweet. Everybody's <laughs> getting it. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I just took a look over at my TV and saw other uh, famous sexual assaulter Darby Allen and remembered that we got to take no prisoners over mm-hmm. here. So, yeah. Yeah. But oh, yeah. At least they made Sammy Guevara do sensitivity training and apologize. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But like while while Seth, when Seth Rollins was being booked, basically being booked by Vince McMahon, he was mm. the ar- he was the architect. The architect. The, yeah. what, 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 the Monday what, Night Messiah. The architect of it didn't matter. The Monday Night Messiah, the Beast Slayer, all these the, things. Monday Night Rollins. Yeah, it was Monday like, Night Rollins. All, the, all like these things that had minutes. very all these things that had very loose 
definitions of what they actually meant. And then under trips, he was finally allowed to be himself. When he said the architect, I was just imagining him beating the shit out of somebody with like a French curve, like the thing you use to draw the nice oh, curvy French. lines. <laughs> But no. <laughs> but no, he, but no, un, but yeah, being booked by being booked by Vi, by Triple H, he was allowed to, you know, be more himself. Which He's trying to re- find that shit. Yeah, yeah, find that shit, which at WrestleMania meant uh, visiting West Hollywood before wrestling at the show. Mm-hmm. Jesus yeah. Christ, he's beating Cody to within an inch of his life with that straight edge. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else is straight edge? We don't give a fuck because he's an asshole. Hey. No offense, oh. Brock. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Understandable. Hey. 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 He wasn't hey. even in the line of... Why? He, why? He, why? He, listen, if it's the person I'm thinking you're thinking of, he bought Dan Housen a nice birthday present, and that's yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. you know what? Yeah. Look, look he, at me, he, guys. He, oh. he was trashing Moxley not even two weeks ago. I wasn't I, ready to wrestle. I have never then, then seen a Rocky movie. Yeah. <laughs> Go yeah, but, home with AJ and Larry. You know, I'm so like, sick of you two I'm there. not a fucking sports entertainer, asshole. Mm. Is this episode called No One Safe? No, I, it's I called you, so. you Know What to Do, Motherfuckers. That's what I got. I feel like oh. I'm, I'm not a sports entertainer, you I don't asshole. like that title like, at all. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse, pardon me. Oh my god! Oh, wait, oh my god, oh. guys! I think Darby Allen actually just like won again. Right. Oh, hold on, what's yeah. up? Hold, hold on, what's, referee, we have referee, referee, oh, what's happening? Referee. Oh, oh, Darby yeah. Allen is a sexual predator. I don't think he should be allowed to compete. I, I haven't seen you be. in a while. Please. I don't remember so what your name is. Shoot is my name, and, so, and pointing out bullshit is my game. Eric, Lisa, if, yeah, if it's I Lisa. May. If I may just butt in here, because I'm aware that you're making fun of me directly, and I know that it is lovingly meant. Uh, the issue no, he is was doing a bit. No, he was doing that, a bit. We already had a gimmick. It was it was another gimmick. The issue from my all. perspective is that AEW set a precedent, right? If somebody does something bad and it comes to our attention, we make them do sensitivity training. We keep track of their progress, we make them apologize, and we dock their pay and donate it to a related cause. Right? They did that pretty much right out the gate with Guevara. Mm -hmm. A ton of shit has come forward about Darby Allen, and they just went, nah. That's not him, though. And for my two cents, like, listen... You go down the AEW roster, and there's a couple of people that you're like, Ugh. but like, it's not nearly as bad as me trying to get through the WWE roster without going, shit, the Miz did a racism, fuck, like, <laughs> which is, uh, like, oh, I was what? like, oh, I think he's probably fine. Oh no, there's a controversies tab on his Wikipedia, like, <laughs> that does not happen nearly as often in AEW. I wish that they. Because now they have the flexibility of different people and they have a huge staff that they took the, the, the care and that flexibility to make sure it didn't happen at mm-hmm. all. Because if he went away for six weeks and they donated his pay for six weeks and he came out with an apology and they sent him to a program, I would feel a lot better about liking the way that he does his face paint. And that's kind of all I'm going to say on it. And that's the bottom line. Yeah, that is. That <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, okay. Dude, just be out there wrestling oh. like he wasn't doing shit. Everybody shut up. Jade is speaking. Uh, also, happy one year anniversary of my uh, baddie sectionness. Hey. Is, she still, is she still squashing people in boring matches? Or? I thought she said Jada up. for a second. I'm like, who's Jada? Like, Jada, <laughs> Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss. AEW. Uh, she's she's definitely gotten more interesting, I think, as she's learned more stuff. Yes. The thing that I appreciate about her and the thing that I enjoy watching about her is that it's clear that she is voraciously hungry for more. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate Tired all that. these softballs. Yeah, she, has she lost the match yet? She has no. 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 The so the the issue they're currently facing with Jade. And it's really, it's really not her fault. It's more just uh, the booking in that it they've the basically, they in that they've basically booked themselves into a corner where there's no obvious direction. Like she's, 
She's gonna. She's feuding with Taya Valkyrie now. They're gonna have a match. Jade is probably going to win. Yes. Ty and they're just. Gorgeous. They're just going. They're just going to repeat that cycle either with women they already have on their roster, or others that they're going to bring in and throw into a feud with her. It's just. It really just feels like a holding pattern until Chris Statlander is ready to come back. I mean, the one angle that I think would be interesting, and I kind of wish that they did. Uh, what's her name? They had her call. They were calling her the Professor for a while. Uh, she used to be on the Straight Edge Society with Punk. Oh, oh uh, Serena. Serena, Serena Deeb. So she was doing this bit as the professor, right? Of If you can survive five minutes in the ring with me, then you're ready for prime time and we'll sign you to a contract right now, right? I would really like to see a situation where maybe she comes on in a mentor position. Because they haven't done shit with her lately. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she kind of is able to... We, that way, there's like a kayfabe reason for Jade to be improving from match to match. Right. And for her to, you know, for people to be like, well, I've also improved. And for her to be like, okay, come at me, yeah. see what I've learned mm-hmm. too. Like, that to me would add something. That said, uh, she is also wearing her finest puffer couture this evening. Hey. Uh, she was wearing a nice little bright silver puffer vest. Uh, not quite Seth Rollins esque, but you know. If you told me they went to the same tailor, I'd believe you. Um, that gear has to cost a fortune too. Mm-hmm. Like that yeah. shit is like yeah. rich. She was, she was wearing cheap. she was wearing custom Louboutins tonight, like the eight hundred dollar starting price shoes. Yeah. We we've think, talked about Louboutins before. I think a lot of them are probably gifted, right? Because she's now seen wearing them on television with high numbers. People mm-hmm. are going to Google where they're from. She's going to post on Instagram mm-hmm. where they're from. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Anything that's mm-hmm. sold in stores, I'm sure they just gift to, to do that. Well, the the uh, the uh that bitch glasses that she was wearing for a while, those little triangular ones. Yeah. That small shop right now has a two-year-long waiting list. <laughs> Dang. Because they sent, they sent them to Jade and were like, here you go, girl. If you wear them... Consider tagging us. She tagged them three times, and that happened. Mm. Go off, Jade. Know, know your worth, girl. And it's that's... Really, yeah. It was so funny because so much stuff happened that made it so I almost wasn't in the baddie section, including several judgments on whether or not I was conventionally attractive enough. Which they were wrong about. Well, I don't, I don't have an opinion on what Warner Brothers executives think are attractive. Um... But thank you. Um, but the speech that she gave that night was that uh, being a baddie is being a beautiful woman that knows themselves and loves themselves. And so for them to be like, it's a section full of paid models, directly mm-hmm. undermined exactly <laughs> what she was trying to say. Of course. And, and I think about that a lot, right? The studio told her no, and she fought tooth and nail up to 30 minutes before the show was starting to make sure that she had an opportunity to empower real women, mm-hmm. not just people that the network were comfortable with and willing to pay. Right. And maybe her matches aren't necessarily the most interesting, mm-hmm. although I'd argue that she's improved a oh, yeah. huge amount. Oh, absolutely. I feel like she's improved every match. But I... Um, unless it comes out that she like killed someone in cold blood, and even then, I'd probably want to read the, the case yeah, notes. You can kill him, uh-huh. kill him. I we mean, can, we can talk about murder. D- depend, yeah, depends on who it was. We can talk about murder. <laughs> oh, oh, that's can she kill like, Vince McMahon? That, could that's you imagine? We can talk about murder. That's the title. Um, also, Julia Hart is wrestling for the first time in a while tonight, and yeah. she looks super cute, and I love her very yeah. much. Even though Malachi Black is still apparently uh, comfy with Marty's girl. <clears throat> so ultimately, and I want to ask everyone to at least give their piece on this. And yeah. I don't know if this is the final WWE coverage I'll actually give or not. But I want to go around the horn. Eric, I want to start with you. So with the news of Vince, Im- his imminent return. Um and everything that's going on this last week, are you officially OWT out on the WWE? So I love this that we I was going through I'm going through my accounts and off the bat 
I'm not following any straight up WWE like accounts or whatever. So, so I'm in the clear there, you know. So uh, I'll go through with a fine tooth comb now, and um, I gotta give up check on these other guys, wrestlers. Um, you know, just to do some spring cleaning on that uh, anyway. But um, yes, bro, I, I, I considered WrestleMania the series finale um, for me until. And and then uh, somehow we got Dana White mixed up in all of this now, mm. and I'm just like, mm. the like the mm. ultimate there, slime, bro. Like I'm. There I'm, are too many despicable people in the room right now to make excuses bro, like, for anymore. Yeah. Mm. And it's like you know, with the you know, we we had that little uh, the WWH, we had that little that little bit of deniability where we could be like, well, Vince ain't. Uh, oh, he's probably gonna go to jail, right? We can watch wrestling for a minute. It's like the, the time's up, you know. What I mean? Like we did it. We got all. We got all the. Remember, little... remember that scene in Finding Nemo when Marlin is swimming around that little light, and he's yeah. like, "I'm feeling a warm and positive thing. And everything's no. gonna be okay." And then he sees the teeth, and no. the teeth, and the teeth, and the big eyes, and the teeth, and he just goes, "Good feeling gone." Yep. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah, I get it. You don't like animated well, Mark movies, Rob, we Mark know you Rob. Don't like cartoons, brother. Jeez, what a Jeez. we're we're gonna destroy Working this narrative. But it's part of the gimmick, Talk about brother. The hey, no. hey, hey, go ahead. Create your narrative. Oh, 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 uh, who else? Uh, the, 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 what's the uh, the dick gimmick guy? Him too. Joey Ryan. Don't say it again. A bunch of other right people follow on social media, which I won't get into right now, but I will okay. definitely think. Uh, all I'll say is I think it's hypocritical of Cody to not include that in his weight belt, but still follow him on social media. Anyway, um. Mm. So hold on, let me let me get. I want to get everyone's response ah, to the original question. Yeah, yeah. No, so next no, no, up, no. I want to ask Grog, aka King Groggy Junior. Mm, mm, Thank so you. Are you officially out <laughs> on the WW quote unquote entertainment? As far as watching the programming, yeah, for the for the foreseeable future, um, like next January when we get to. Uh, you know, Royal Rumble season and that I'll I I will I can say that I will be curious. Um and like I, I listen to wrestling podcasts every week and so like, like I listen this to some, one, which yeah. is the only one that matters. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's <laughs> it's largely through podcasts. So it's largely through podcasts that I know what happens week to week on the shows. So right. that I am I am pretty much caught up on you know Who's being pushed? Uh, who's not? What's happening? Who the champions are? Yeah, I mean, I, don't know. I feel like it's just too much in the satellite. That, so, to, but so like, like to actively go after it to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's generally how I know what's going on. Um, like pri- like prior prior to the royal prior to the royal rumble, I hadn't really watched uh, any WWE programming since last year's WrestleMania. Anyway. Um, okay. Where you know where Vince McMahon and Pat McAfee wrestled for some reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I didn't yeah, watch that was last weird. Year's Rumble. <laughs> Mania, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so so for so for the foreseeable future, I I am out. Um, I I do still follow like Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair on social media. Okay. You know they're 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 pretty they're pretty much the only active wrestlers on WWE that I have a vested interest in right now. All right. Um. All right. So, Kellen, aka Kevin Coonley, are you officially <laughs> oh my God. out on the world wrestling entertainment for the first time since? Uh, 2007 in the Royal Rumble, absolutely. Um, I got to get rid of some wrestlers on my Instagram. I still follow a lot, so I'm still seeing a lot of posts. But I, I still care about the wrestlers themselves, even though they work for a fuck ass company. But I am out. I'm, I'm, I don't care. I, I don't. 
And I and I and that's this week's been really weird since I found out Monday morning or I'm sorry Tuesday morning what happened to Raw, and I was just like, damn, like am I really about to stop watching this shit? Because I've been on this show defending it pathetically, and I and I've been defending it ironically on this show, and I've always been the one that's always been WWE's doing this, and like the, there's always some bright bright mm-hmm. side I can find for it, and as long as that motherfucker breathes, I won't do it anymore. Now, before we kick it over to April O'Phil's, a.k.a. the King of Cats, the Queen of Rabbits, I'm not watching no motherfucking wrestling. So, Cat, <laughs> we, we, we need you to take us out. We need you to take us out on not only a word for the WWE, but also just a word for pro wrestling in general. What, what should we be thinking about for the rest of 2023 and beyond? I mean, so to speak to... The E, uh, I will not be following their sports entertainment any longer. Not that I was particularly following it closely to begin with. Um, I I just, and I hate I hate to say this, especially about a man I don't even know, but he has taken all I have to offer, and I just can't do it anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now that said, to the wrestling community generally. Uh, doing these little mini dives that I've been doing on people and and who is still, whether or not they realize it, uh, signing off on who. I just want to encourage people, especially men, to do better. Um, because in the cases of pretty much every one of the, like, fallen, in quotes, uh, men that I've looked up, they have had very few female followers uh, from the community still. Mm. And I think that should probably tell you a lot. Um, I don't care if you maintain a personal connection with them. Like I said, I may not agree with you, but you know what? If you really love somebody, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong to do that. We all love people who have made mistakes. But I am going to tell you that by following them with your public persona, you are inherently signing off on what they have done or may be continuing to do. So please be mindful of not only your platform, but who you are platforming. Uh, I think that it is really important, Absolutely. especially when you are around children. Mm. And for better or for worse, wrestling is like catnip for children. And I'd also just like to say uh, to the fans of the the WWE and, and wrestling in general. Jesus Christ, tone it down, okay? Like, you're at like an 11 right now. I need you to take it like a two. Um, I don't care who you think is hotter in an, a, like a, a sports competition. It's about sports. So, you know, maybe stop being super horny on Maine. Mm-hmm. Medium mm-hmm. amount of horny mm-hmm. is acceptable. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so for me personally, uh, with the E, and especially with the E's pairing with Endeavor now, um, there are just too many assholes in that boardroom for me to even start to make excuses for. Um, and it's a shame because I feel like, oh, I finally actually knew who like a handful of E wrestlers were. Uh, and I really do truly wish the best for Cody um, because he also doesn't have a controversies tab, which I love that in a white man. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the most controversial right. thing yeah. that the most controversial thing that Cody did was cut a tone deaf promo on Anthony Agogo. <laughs> and yeah, he still like, follows a couple people that I wish yeah, he wouldn't, like, but that's, you know, uh, yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Um so my my hope is that he is able to find some fulfillment there, whatever that is. Uh, now, that said, uh, go follow Brandy Rhodes because she just posted hey. a bunch of hot pictures of herself in her underwear. And she looks amazing. And she's insecure about it. So go tell her she looks oh, hot. Man, yeah. Let's do, um, oh, yeah. Wow. We'll do that right now. We, we do love Brandy oh, Rhodes. Oh, we stand so quick, But also, she's <laughs> before, before. So you, disgusting, dog. Before, before you cut out. Right all of the the women wrestlers in your life, including the the WWE ones, it just take a minute to reflect on what they might have had to sell, uh, steal, yeah. you know, beg, steal, swallow, kill, uh, to get to where they are right now. I'm I'm gonna miss Bianca a lot. 
Yeah, but also I think that it's really fair to hold some space for Bianca in your heart and what she probably has had to do to get to where she is, especially in an organization like the E. As a black woman. There it is. Yep. So, you know. Ashley Flair, she is not, and we love her for it. When people decide to leave, I think it's okay to be waiting to catch them even if you can't in good conscience support them right now. Mm. Very well said. Yeah. So the the plane has landed. So maybe one day, maybe, you know, maybe, you know, in our, in our wrestling fanaticism, maybe we keep the door slightly cracked. Maybe. But for now, we're going to have to close that bitch tight. So Kellen, Stop recording. The plane has landed. Okay. Take us home. Take us the fuck home, baby. All right. So you've been listening to the Rasslecast Power Hour featuring myself, B Hyphen, Handsome Bane, and showing mad love, Marcus Robinson. Also, Kit Kat Kitterich, Catchinetti is here, and also Grog. Uh, my mate. That is. You uh, gotta get my mate. Over. I like King Grog Jr. Made. I like that. Yeah. King Grog Jr. is pretty dope. We had a like lot of it. good ones tonight. That's a good Mariners one. So, uh, shout out to our fifth member novelist who is is uh, training right now, and he could not be here, but we love you anyway. Uh, you got four fifths of the Rasslecast Power Rangers, and we thank you all for joining us on this traver- this travel that was the season that was season three of Rasslecast Power Hour, and we greatly appreciate you. We will have some summer episodes, we'll have dark matches, and then we will see you for season four come August. So, thank you, everyone. Our secretaries will see you out. Also, is the Rock a good pegger?